good to see you again in Living Da Nang. Da Nang is currently one of the most popular destinations for Indian tourists this summer. And in today's episode, we will together explore why Da Nang city is so favored by many Indian tourists and how to maintain and enhance Da Nang status as an attractive destination in the eyes of international tourists, especially those coming from India. Da Nang is a new appealing destination for Indian tourists with a range of strengths in leisure tourism, gathering world-renowned hotel brands, outstanding amusement parks, nightlife entertainment activities, and rich culinary culture. Da Nang also has the advantage of connecting to world cultural heritages and has been honored as the leading festival and event destination in Asia. In 2023, the Indian market ranked fourth in the top 10 international visitor markets for the NAN, followed by South Korea, Thailand, and China. The total number of Indian tourists to the NAN in 2023 reached over 87,000, an increase of more than five times compared to 2019. With Indian visitors accounting for 60% of the total Indian arrivals to Vietnam, Da Nang is considered an unmissable destination in the journey to Vietnam, even when direct flights between Da Nang and big cities of India have not been restored. Ấn Độ, lượng khách họ không chỉ đi 5 sao, mà khách còn có thể đi là 4 và 3 sao. Và họ không chỉ là đi du lịch theo gia đình, mà họ có thể là đi theo du lịch theo từng nhóm uh, thanh niên trẻ rồi uh, du lịch mai cũng rất là nổi tiếng uh, và đặc biệt là là đám cưới Ấn Độ đó mang lại cái lượng khách khổng lồ lồ cho Đà Nẵng. In addition, to increase the attractiveness of Da Nang's tourism, the government, businesses, travel agencies, and accommodation establishments have organized a series of programs to attract international visitors. Recently, Furama Resort Da Nang, in collaboration with Da Nang 365 Travel Company and Pataka Indian Restaurant, has organized the Da Nang Holy Festival. This is an annual event with many vibrant and appealing activities for the foreign community in Da Nang, as well as international tourists visiting the city, especially Indian tourists. I'm now enjoying the Indian performances at the Da Nang Holy Indian DJ party, creating a vibrant, exciting, and colorful space with captivating melodies and lively rhythms. Indian dance, renowned for its strength, gracefulness, and beauty. Indian dancers perform traditional dance styles such as Bharata Natyam, Kasak, and Odyssey with gentle and graceful movements. Henna tattooing. This is a form of artistic tattooing using henna ink to draw on the skin. Henna tattooing originates from India with the initial purpose of decorating the body for important festivals. Indians believe that drawing on the body brings good luck and peace. A highlight of the festival is the color war, one of the most lively celebrations of Hindu people marked by a unique calendar event, signaling the arrival of spring is holy. The festival usually takes place on the last full moon day of the month for Guna, according to the local Canada. On this day, millions of Indians gather in the streets from early morning, chanting holy high and throwing bags of colored power at each other. This is an occasion for everyone to forget their worries and past sorrows while expressing freedom and equality. Check, 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 this DJ KD. I'm in here, expert in Da Nang, and I live in Da Nang last, uh, it's five years complete already. And I work in here, I am a yoga teacher, and I teach in Da Nang city, and I really like to 
Danang place because it's like a complete city have to mountain and beach and many places for tourists and I really like to Danang city. I feel here very good and that this resort is very nice and uh, I really really happy to this celebrate on the Holi because this uh, Holi festival from India the culture is I'm very happy to see here all over the world we can celebrate in Danang all the world is Holi. I love the Holi and this this is festival for the color. We each other love together and happiness and love the world. And I want I hear in the Danang city the eight years. I'm really happy and I see the Danang city is more developed. And at this time maybe I hope more developed and the more people to join here. And really, really I love Danang. The Danang Holi Festival is not only encapsulated in Indian cultural and entertainment activities, but also serves as an opportunity for foreign community in Danang and visitors to the city to participate in special, vibrant and colorful experiences with a series of other lively activities such as waterfalls, games for children and unique food courts. It creates a lively and impressive space for interaction, connection and vibrant fun. Great time. Obviously, the color war. We're here for the color war, but the DJs are amazing. We, I've just been in India for the last few months, and so it's nice to be able to hear some Indian music and some culture as well. But um, yeah, yeah, color war was really good. <laughs> Love close to music. That's a thorough preparation of the organizing board of the Holy Festival that contributes to the success of this festival in Tana City. And now I will have a short talk with Mr. Alex Castaneda, director of uh, Three City Five Travel Company, the organizing committee of the Holy Festival. Hello, Mr. Alex. Hello, thank you for having me. Yeah. So um, first of all, could you share about the purpose of this festival? The main purpose of having the Danai Holy Festival is uh, to bring the community together. You know, this is uh, an Indian festival, it's, it's world known. And we wanted to bring this to Danang and bring this to the locals, to the expats, to the tourists and bring everyone together in a very colorful way. So what does the organizing board hope to achieve after this festival? We hope to achieve uh, this festival will become bigger and bigger every year. We want to be more inclusive. We want to bring people from not just Da Nang. We want people from, from Hoi An, from Hue. We want people to come from Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh. And we're going to make this a yearly festival. And hopefully we can uh, get some attention and bring more tourists to the city. So uh, what do you think are the factors that made the Holy Festival a uh, very attractive uh, festival in Da Nang for especially for Indian tourists? Absolutely. Well, I mean, it's not only just an Indian festival, but uh, we have uh, basically three main organizers, uh, Danang 365, Furama and Pataka. Together, we have a set of skills and, and knowledge that made this holy very special. We also have two Indian nationals in the organizing committee, Mr. Anish from Pataka and Mr. Parker from Furama. So given their cultural knowledge, uh, they made this event very, very successful. Does the organizing board have uh, plans to enhance and uh, increase the attention of tourists and the participants of the Holy Festival in the coming years? Absolutely. Uh, we have big plans. We have big, uh, a long-term vision for this festival. Uh, we plan in the upcoming editions. Hopefully, as the festival grows in popularity and we start getting more attraction, more, more tourists coming, not just from Vietnam, but hopefully from overseas, uh, our long-term goal would be to make this event uh, possibly move it to a bigger location. We're talking maybe Ariana, and uh, we would like to have 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 people joining this festival in the future editions. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome.
Events like this have contributed to creating a lively, diverse and vibrant image for the next city in the eyes of international tourists, attracting the attention of travelers from all over the world and creating memorable experiences, thereby enhancing the reputation of Nang as a tourist destination on the world tourism map. Additionally, by enhancing promotion and organizing appropriate events that provide unique experiences, Nang has become an attractive, interesting and unique destination for Indian tourists, contributing to the growth of tourist arrivals from India to the Nang. Nang is a wonderful destination for international tourists in general and a top attraction for Indian tourists in particular with its stunning natural beauty, rich culture and diversity in entertainment and cultural activities. Nang is truly a destination not to be missed by travelers from around the world. And we hope that today's episode has provided you with useful information and interesting experiences. And that's all we have for this episode of Living Nang. Thank you for tuning and see you next time.